Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. Today, we're gonna deal with Jeep Spare Tire Security, or Jeep Spare Tire Theft in particular. You know, recently, we went out, we put some shiny new wheels and tires on my wife's Jeep Wrangler, you guys can see here, and check out that poke. Isn't that awesome? Love it. But anyway, we went out, we put these on, and then, of course, we replaced the spare tire on the back because she wanted everything to match. That's okay. So, that presents a problem in that it's very easy to take this off, right? If you have the right lug wrench, you just go ahead and pull this thing off. It comes off pretty easy. Take the three lugs off, and you've got yourself a spare tire. Now, these things aren't cheap, right? These tires are 400 bucks a piece. So you need to do a little bit to protect them, and that's what we're gonna do today. What I've got, we'll take you over here, I'll show you. I bought some wheel locks off of uh, Amazon, and there'll be a link down below if you're looking for these. Uh, but we're gonna replace, I think, all three of the lug nuts that are on there right now. They do have these little security lug nuts, but you know, probably pretty easy to find the socket for those. So we're gonna replace those. Um, the tools that you need, this is pretty simple. I'm gonna use just a socket because it's easier, a ratchet rather, and a socket. This is a 13 16th socket to fit the socket that's inside the kit here. And then you need a little Torx bit T40 to take the camera off. So we're gonna bring all our tools over here to our workbench, have a seat in our throne, and we're gonna deal with that. Here we go, we've got everything set up, all our tools and things over here on our makeshift workbench. I did go ahead and remove the lug nut cover. These things are awesome. If you're trying to get rid of chrome, these things work perfectly and they fit on there really well. I actually had to grab a pair of pliers uh, to pull this thing off, but we did that just to cover up the chrome lug nut in the short run. So once I've got that taken care of, then need to go ahead, grab your Torx bit, you want to turn this, it's locked right now. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. There's a little arrow pointing to the locked padlock. Stick that in, it goes counterclockwise, pointing to the unlocked padlock, and then just pull it off and set it aside. Now, next up, um, I'm gonna start down here at the bottom, I think, and I don't know, let's see if I have the right, I don't have the right socket for this lug nut. So, of course, they're not universal. Let's grab the next size up, I think is fine. This one should work. And this is a, let's see, seven eighths. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead, pull that off. That was just a temporary measure for us anyway, so not really a big deal. Hopefully I didn't scratch the paint up too badly on the wheel. That was my fear. No, it doesn't look bad. I might have got a little nick right there, but I think we're going to be okay. So then, I need to go ahead and grab one of these new locking wheel locks. And the idea, hopefully, here is to be able to clear the camera cover. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to put this in and then the camera cover will fit over it. We shall see. Looks like it screws in there pretty far. And one thing I want to note, these do have the uh, domed or cup, whatever you want to call it, end on them, as opposed to just the flat. I mean, this was cupped, but it hit on the edges as opposed to going all the way in. And I definitely want it to go all the way in. So let's go ahead and see if we got the right size first off. It would appear we do. That's a pretty tight fit, though. And let's go ahead and grab our socket go ahead and fit that on and then our next socket our socket to go on a socket i guess and let's go ahead and see about tightening this thing down brand new so i guess it was just a little tight at first seems to be going on there pretty easily now it does go in there pretty far that's good. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's going to be way deep in there, so that's really good. That means I shouldn't have any problem clearing 
the cover and I actually wouldn't have had to have adapted the cover either I don't think so I do want to check one more thing let's see if the socket actually fits in it does fit in the hole okay a little bit of luck there I guess just wanted to make sure I wasn't uh, hurting the inside of the wheel okay I'm just gonna snug it fairly tight but I'm not gonna kill it just about like that that's it so that looks pretty good I like that and since it is a locking I could go ahead and put the other locking ones on um, I don't know I think for now I might just leave these as they are because they match the rest of the lug nuts on the Jeep so then we need to go back uh, to our cover and it should fit on there pretty easily now little tip for you when you put this thing back on just go ahead and move it to the locked position it will push up that little nub in there you guys can see that little nub going up in there you see that hopefully it is spring loaded so i should be able to just snap this thing back on now yeah it goes on there easily uh, and it clears this new lug nut with no problem so no issues there um, i think i am going to go ahead and leave these lug nuts on Again, they do match what's on the Jeep right now, so I think they're a pretty good look. Um, ultimately, I'll see what the wife wants to do. I guess if she wants to have all these matched, then we can go ahead and put the other ones on so that they're all matching. But the whole point of this, if you look at the lug nut that came with it, or not the lug nut, but the socket, it has this little star-like pattern inside. And of course, that's supposed to fit on this little star pattern in the lug nut itself, which it does. It works quite well. And the idea there is, is that a person couldn't just walk up here with a regular, you know, T-bar or something with the different size sockets or ends on it, find one that works, and then just pull your, your spare tire off. Now, I will say the lug nuts that it came with, they do have... I guess they do have what's kind of called a security socket. These things are kind of ribbed, if you will, and it takes a different kind of a socket than just a, you know, a regular socket you would get in a kit to be able to take those off. So it does have a security feature on it now. And I guess in doing this, kind of gives me two levels of security back here. You know, I have the security lug nuts that came with the new wheels. So you'd have to have that special socket to remove these and then I also have my new security socket right here to be able to take this security lug off as well uh, so I think it's pretty good what I need to do I need to check out like my Tacoma and my Jeep uh, particularly my Jeep because I think the threads are different but I could get another set of these and go ahead and do mine as well obviously on each tire and really on each tire for her too she has these same lugs, but once you have that particular socket, you, of course, would be able to remove all of the lugs on the tires, too. So that's something else to think about. You know, going with this security system plus this security system just gives you uh, an extra level, I guess, of security for people being able to take these off. And I will say I have noticed many Jeeps around my area that are missing the spare tire. And I'm guessing that's because they're stolen. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and show you guys my method of Jeep tire theft protection or prevention in this case. Not really prevention, I guess more of a deterrent because anybody with the right tools, of course, uh, would be able to get those off. But it makes it a heck of a lot harder. Um, real quick, also, I do have two additional channels. I have Rob Motive all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma and my newest channel Rob Motive Tundra all about my hunt for the redesigned upcoming Toyota Tundra. Check them out and if you're interested why not subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and do me a favor smash that subscribe button on the way out thanks for watching stay safe out there bye